Hey, I think uh, that was probably a surprise for everybody this week. This was one of the tunes that came out for our Target members. And uh, so I, I haven't shown anybody for a long time, but it's been floating around on our uh, recommend a lesson list for such a long time that I finally thought, okay, got to get to some cool semi-progressive songs. So that was, of course, Salisbury Hill by Peter Gabriel from his 1977 album, his first album called Peter Gabriel. And anyway, it was one of the tunes that went up for our Target members this week. It is Friday, March 9th, I think. Yeah. Oh, i got to remember to like look up the date before I start these things. Oh well, it is Friday, March 9th. And um, had some... I, I kind of considered this a week of a bunch of really cool tunes. Three things that I have... Uh, well, anyway, big songs in my book. And the, the first one was another long-time request that's been floating around on the site for a while. Eva Cassidy's version of Paul Simon's song, Kathy's song. Now, uh, I think in the, in the, I'm sure in the lesson I talk a little bit about Kathy and who she was and what was going on with Paul and how he came to write this cool song when he came back from trying to hang out with buddies in England. One of whom included Al Stewart, by the way, not to mention any um, unfamiliar names. But, uh, and Bert Yanch, John Renborn, Davy Graham, all those guys, Bob Dylan, sort of a little conclave of great uh, budding song, folk and figure style songwriters hanging around London in the early 60s. Uh, Jimmy Page, another one of the group. So, Robert Fripp, Greg Lake, they were all there. And uh, anyhow, so that was Kathy's song, one of our target lessons this week. Eva has such a great way of playing stuff, simplifying things, and making just beautiful arrangements that are not um, technical or pyrotechnic shows because her voice is the show. And that's, I just love listening to her stuff because the guitar playing is just the perfect complement to what's going on with her voice. So again, if you're not too familiar with her, be sure to check out some of her stuff. Um, this week we did Kathy's song. Have older, have other lessons on many of her other arrangements. Ain't arrangements. Learn to talk. Um, haven't done over the rainbow. I've been meaning to do that one. Autumn leaves, though, and time after time, and fields of gold. So all of those are uh, tunes that we have here as part of the Target program. Then we took a look, exploring our still our Canadian neighbors, Burton Cummings and Randy Backman with the Guess Who tune, Laughing. Now this is one that has some just beautiful, delicate guitar playing and then some kind of rock and roll guitar playing. So that was uh, the third Target song that went out this week. And then of course we had Salisbury Hill, which is a great exercise in counting because it's in an unusual time signature. It's in 7-4 time and it moves along pretty quickly. It's fairly repetitive. There really are only a few little tricks in it. So that was our the big news for our Target members this week. All the songs are available, of course, as individual uh, a la carte lessons, if you if you prefer to. And then I um, had a really interesting fly on the wall lesson with with Ed. Uh, it started off talking about Bob Dylan's tune Desolation Row. Speaking of Dylan and folks hanging out in London back in those days in the early '60s, and um, but it really more digressed into figuring out chords by listening to them and also working on putting vocals to things. So so Ed's lesson on Desolation Row has a lot of stuff in it that is not just necessarily about the song. Now, if you want to learn to play the song, I'm sure you can figure out the chords from listening to what we did in there, which I think is the case with many of the Fly on the Wall lessons. Most of the time, if I put up one that is a song that's not in the Target program, there's usually enough info in there for you to figure out how to play the song. and. Um, that is the case with, that is probably the case with the other song that went up this week. Uh-oh, I'm uncapoed, but... Our Lobo tune, uh, Me and You and a Dog Named Boo. That was, of course, a tune that Fred and I worked on for a couple different things. One was to dial in how the intro went, and one was to work on more how the, how the vocals went together. So... Um, had a couple of student reviews, one on Hallelujah, our, uh, our long-term member Buddy has been putting up a lot of songs, uh, I mean, over the years. It's, it's great watching, watching Buddy develop, and um, his, his version of, his version of Jeff's version of Leonard's tune, 
Hallelujah. It was actually, was actually pretty cool. So if you haven't seen that, I hope everybody can, can check it out. And then our member Matt from the East Coast, who uh, plays a lot of really interesting things, always comes up with cool little touches in his videos as well, had been working on Embryonic Journey. <laughs> was the pseudo version done in standard tuning it of course has to be done with with the dropped uh, drop D to make it make it all work so um, I think that was it as far as our, our cool releases for target members a couple of fly on the walls a couple of student reviews a couple of couple of songs some really interesting things going on well actually I'm gonna give you a hint about what's happening I have some top secret stuff kind of on the back burner here recognize that lots of different things so far. Man, I can think of three different songs this is, and you probably don't know which one I'm thinking of yet. One of which is a song that's at the site. It could be... One is by a band we have many, many songs up by, and not this one. songs that are many people would consider more keyboard related songs than guitar songs. Must be a D chord. Oh man, you think I practiced this first. see a little bit of piano stuff related coming up next week. Uh, what else? Oh, there's some really interesting things going on on the forum, and I just want to do a quick little uh, run through of some things that jumped out at me. One was the question about looking at your left hand. Do you look at your left hand? I do all the time when I need to. If I don't need to, I don't. And um, if it's important, if I'm going to go from a C chord to an E flat chord, oh shucks. Okay, so I made it. Um, but a lot of times I would miss it <laughs> unless I looked, or it could have landed just a little bit weird. So um, it is really important. Have your eyes on the target. If I'm going from C to E flat, I want to be looking at the sixth fret, then, I'm, then for sure I'm not going to miss it. Uh, so anyway, look down at your hand when you've got a complicated change also to make sure that your fingers are close enough to the frets, but you don't need to stare for that. That's my take on that. 
Um, I guess the question was actually called looking at strings or something. Uh, tough tunes, working on things that are hard, all the suggestions that were in there were great because the, the, the real secret is small doses and play it very slow. So work on one measure at a time. If I'm playing something nearly impossible... See that? Impossible. So, I'd walk through it. Half, like a quarter of that at a time. Stop. Don't even speed it up until I can play through the whole song really slowly like that. So that's my that's my opinion on that. And also, I want to bring up the banner really quickly because I see the banner has made its way to the Great Northwest. It has shown up in Seattle lately. I'm hoping it will show back up, show up here in Northern California sometime soon. But I think it's got to make a few more trips across some big oceans. So um, I hope we get a banner update soon. And if not, I will still be back next week with some cool tunes that I've been, oh, I can't tell you. I've been having a lot of fun though with the songs I've been working on and I think you're gonna enjoy them. So, so the usual, stay tuned. You never quite know what's gonna happen around here. We might get into, no wait, we already did that. Let's see, that one's in there. What, ha what are the famous songs that I've forgotten that I mean to get to someday? Always room for more Neil Young. That's it. I'm going back to practicing, playing, and fine-tuning a lot of things this week.